Hey everyone, and welcome to our channel. Today we will talk about the Russian-built MC-21 single-aisle commercial airplane. The MC-21 is a single-aisle, narrow-body airliner developed by Russia Zirkut Corporation as a competitor to the Boeing 737 and Airbus A320 families. It made its maiden flight in 2017 and is expected to enter service in 2024. The first deliveries have been delayed due to sanctions on Russia limiting access to parts. Here are some key details on the avionics and flight systems of the Urkut MC-21. The MC-21 uses a modern fly-by-wire control system developed by Urkut. This replaces heavier mechanical controls with electronic signaling, reducing weight and improving reliability. The MC-21 featured an advanced avionics suite sourced from several international suppliers. Primary flight displays from FAILS provide pilots with graphical interface. The flight management system is the FAILS Top Series FMS. Collins Aerospace supplies additional avionics components including communication and navigation systems. The MC-21 has a modern glass cockpit with five LCD displays and advanced interfaces, providing paperless operation. Avionics reduce pilot workload through automation. It is equipped with dual inertial reference systems as well as satellite navigation, GLONASS or GPS. Options for Category 3 ILS Landing System for Low Visibility Electrical power is supplied by an integrated modular avionics suite controlling functions across the aircraft. Two 120 kW generators provide ample power. For safety systems, triple redundancy for flight controls, power, electronics. Traffic Collision Avoidance System TAS, Enhanced Ground Proximity Warning System are standard. Overall, the MC-21 aims for high levels of automation, integration and redundancy across its avionics for maximum efficiency, reliability and flight safety. The system's leverage technologies used on modern Boeing and Airbus aircraft. Now, Russia is working to replace certain imported avionics and components on the Urkut MC-21 due to sanctions blocking access to Western technologies. The initial MC-21 used a SIA Burgess flight control system made in Switzerland. Russia has now localized production of this system with Korgon Engineering Plant. Collins Aerospace was providing communication radios. Russia is replacing these with locally produced Technocomplex radios. The MC-21 was using French Thales navigational aids that are now being replaced by Russian-made counterparts. However, some key avionics are still coming from international companies. Russia currently still lacks an alternative to the Thales primary flight displays. It is not known how Russia plans to substitute it. Here are some key details about the engines used on the Urkut MC-21. The MC-21 is offered with a choice of two engine options from major manufacturers. Pratt & Whitney PW1400G Advanced Gear Turbofan Engine provides up to 5% better fuel efficiency over older engines. It is based on the PW1000G engine family. Aviat Vigadal PD-14 is a modern turbofan engine designed specifically for the MC-21 by Russia's Aviat Vigadal. It uses composite fan blades and other innovations to increase efficiency. The PW-1400G was the launch engine for the MC-21, but sanctions have limited Russia's ability to acquire the engine. As a result, initial production models will use the PD-14. The PD-14 has faced development delays but is now being manufactured and tested. It is Russia's first modern commercial aircraft engine designed from scratch. PW-1400G delivers 15,000 to 33,000 LBF thirst ratings. PD-14 delivers 30,865 LBF. The engines deliver the required thrust for the MC-21 variants while meeting noise and emission standards. The MC-21's lighter composite airframe compensates for the PD-14's lower thrust. Ongoing sanctions will determine if future MC-21 shift back to using higher volumes of imported PW-1400GS or continue using domestically produced PD-14s. Engine choice will impact operating costs. Here are key features of the MC-21. It has seats for 150 to 211 passengers in typical single-class configuration. It uses composite materials for over 30% of the airframe to reduce weight. It has high aspect ratio wings in modern engines for fuel efficiency. It comes equipped with full fly-by-wire controls. There are three MC-21 variants in development. MC-21-300, base model, seats 163 to 211 passengers. 
MC21-200, shorter fuselage, 150 seats. MC21-400, stretched fuselage, up to 230 seats. The MC21 aims to offer lower operating costs and improved passenger comfort compared to older models like the 737NG and A320 CEO. Its composite construction is a key innovation for this class of airliner. Over 200 MC-21s are on order, mainly by Russian state-owned and leased carriers. Its success will depend on how export sales fare outside of Russia once it enters service. Do you think Urkut MC-21 can challenge Western options in the international markets? Let us know in the comments below. And if you like this content, please subscribe to the channel and share and like the videos.